welcome. Today I'm going to paint a landscape, an Australian landscape from the Pinnacles in Outback New South Wales and I'm going to paint it non-stop. It's got these fabulous earthy reds in the foreground and to get those beautiful reds I've got Lunar Earth from Daniel Smith. I've already got some squeezed out on my palette there. I've also got an orange. I've got a couple of reds and in the blues I've got Cerulean Blue, blue Chromium and I've just squeezed out the rest of this Ultramarine Blue from Art Spectrum. Squeezed it all into there because it's gotten a little bit hard so I've just squeezed the rest out and then I can chuck the tube out. So my goal today is to paint really fast, not stop, just to accept any backgrounds that occur and not worry about it. I've got a piece of Baohong watercolour paper and a beautiful image to sit up in front of me. The Baohong arrived bent, which is, you know, pretty bloody annoying. Anyway, I'm going to use my big mop brush to get out some of this lunar earth, just mix up a little over there. I'm going to grab a separate brush, grab a little bit of the orange and put that on my palette as well. And I'll mix, wash that one and grab a little bit of this quinacridone magenta. It's incredibly pink, but once I mix it with that orange, it'll go straight into the the million zone, I think, and I'm going to mix that later with the Lunar Earth. I'm going to prepare some of this chromium. It's a really beautiful cerulean oh. colour and spray the top really generously, spray the bottom really generously. I've just got this really large jar it's just a glass jar and I'm going to pop it underneath so that I've got a beautiful angled, fully laden water brush. Some of this lovely soft chromium. And into that drop some soft bits, just little bits of ultramarine blue.
got a blue gray over here that's quite lovely I wonder if I should add a little bit of warmth oh that's so perfect okay just dump this brush and I'm going to load up the biggest brush it's quite wet in the distance and I'm going to be bold with my stroke and I'm going to come over and up to the pinnacle and down this way and try and include the little bush I can see it comes up and goes to the pinnacle and I'm going to make the pinnacle much wider than it actually is and then there's a little bushy bit here and comes out okay back into my gray and into that I'm going to grab that green it's got these like stripes in it because the background's all wet it's just all softening off completely there's a bunch of trees here I'm going to re-establish my pinnacle because I'm losing it completely it's very wet and then the stripes come down like that just increase these beautiful stripes that I can see add a little touch of blue I think for the distant there that's a bit better there's those clumps of trees I'm putting it in with blue only be because it's just beautiful and dark I'm going to go over that with the green over that with the green green okay the stray striations are so beautiful
there's these distant bushy marks here and oh, I'm loving this colour there and there's the pinnacle that's better I'm giving it a bit of definition I think I'll just keep the definition on one side bit of tea bit of depth just there and then I'll add some of this lovely colour over here I'm nearly done it's been about 20 minutes so far this line comes in front so mix it with that green and make this line come down in front I'm getting the most beautiful greys there today I want to add a beautiful batch of orange to this spot keep some of the white but see if I can just get some of that pure it's not pure orange actually because it's gotten a bit dirty as a result of me um, not washing my brush enough but I don't care about stuff like that if I'm in the middle of painting I'm gonna do whatever I like I can clean my palette later there's a beautiful patch of orange there as well there and a little bit more over here around these I'm gonna be forced to dry that I'm afraid no I'm determined I'm gonna do a painting without it without drying it off oh and there's a patch of orange there and there oh there's these beautiful little patches of orange oh and there's a strip over there okay how's it going have to add some of this pure orange to these rocks so I'm going to put it in amongst go back to the rocks and add some pure orange in amongst it's really thick now this orange which is totally appropriate because it's the foreground I'm going to bring the orange right over to here and there are tiny little bits of it in amongst the green grasses uh, now I'm nearly done I'm just washing my brush I'm having a good look deciding um, I think I'll just do a little more scratching out to make those beautiful striations that are there they come from over here behind that and they go in there too okay they go around that go into this orange and see if I can just lift off some little bits again it's still really wet this paper is fabulous just it's hanging on to that moisture and allowing me plenty of time to get all any wet in wets done oh nice opportunity to scratch in some grasses there and in amongst those greens well that's too dry so that's not working we're about in amongst those Oh, I love a good grass that goes upwards hmm I don't mind those striations they actually go all the way 
They're fascinating. And I might put some small grasses over here. And I'm going to say it's done. I think that took me about 20 minutes. But when I start to edit the video, I'll be able to tell. I cannot sign my name because it's too wet. But I'm going to say that that is a 20 minute landscape with no drying in between. I'm going to say that's it. That's as fast as I could possibly paint a landscape in watercolour. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up if you got anything out of the video. And I hope to see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye.